Today I'm going to show you how to save thousands with this DIY power cord today on Alright, so what you're going to need is some wire strippers, utility knife, screwdriver, new power cord plug, and new SJOW cord. Check out my last video here of what SJOW cable actually is. Okay, here's my new plug. Let's open it up. Okay, you'll see in here, you need to take these three screws off the front. Okay, and as you can see, there's different color screws on this, and we need to align our wire type with the screw color. So black, that's gonna be your hot, is going to go to the brass screw. Your neutral on your power cord is your white cord, that's gonna go to the silver screw. And then green is ground, and that's gonna go to your ground screw. So let's uh, chop up our power cord now and feed in our wire. So we don't need to take too much off here. Take your utility knife and just make a slight cut. Make a couple passes if you need to, but try not to cut the wire in the jacket here. Uh -huh. Okay, now we're gonna cut the rest of this paper backing and the rest of this jacket off, only leaving the three wires exposed. All right, now we're gonna strip these wires real quick. On your wire strippers, you have a stranded and a solid. This is a number 14 stranded, so we will put it in this slot here. And voila. Do that for all three. Okay, and I like to twist my wires. Just force a habit. But now you just match these up into the proper terminal. Okay, and that's what your plug's gonna look like. So, now we can start putting it back together. Okay, just slide this opposite side through. Line up your holes. You'll see this little groove will line up with that little groove. So there's only one way this can go in. There you go, brand new power cord. So here's our finished product. And as you can see, this is just wired up to the other side and you can really just wire this up to anything, whether it's a power strip or air compressor or power tools, you can really save a lot of money by just making your own power cords. All right, so I found this old GE utility motor. It's a half horsepower and I paid five bucks for it. As you can see, the power cord is shot. It's all crusty, you got exposed wires. If I plug this in, it would short right away. And so that's why we're making this extension cord. But if we put this new extension cord on here and this works, I would pay, what, 20 bucks for this whole setup, if that, 15 bucks. And for a new motor these days, you're talking, you know, two, 300 bucks. If you do this over a lifetime of a bunch of tools, it'll save you thousands of dollars. So here we go. Old cord out. Look at that, got a brand new motor. So let's see if the $5 worth was worth it. Uh, ah. Look at that. Five dollar motor. Voila. So kind of my rule of thumb when choosing the size wire for what power cord I'm making up. Uh, anything that has a rating of 9 amps or less, I will use a number 14 gauge wire, and that's what this is because this motor is 
seven, yeah, seven and a half amps. So this motor is seven and a half amps. This wire is good for 15 amps. So a 14 gauge wire is suitable for this application. Anything that is nine amps and over, so between nine amps and 20 amps, I'll use a number 12 gauge wire. And then anything above from 20 to 30 amps, I'll use a 10 gauge wire. So that's just what I use when I go and size wire for whatever application I'm doing. Man, I see these kind of things sitting around on, you know, Facebook Marketplace, your grandpa shelf, Goodwill. I found this guy at an old tool store for five bucks. Like, people just throw this kind of stuff away just because this power cord was, you know, past its life. But throw a new $10, $15 power cord on it and you have a brand new tool. Like, this motor is a great motor and it... You know, it's probably worth two, three hundred bucks if you bought this brand new for what's actually inside here of real copper. Like, there, there's just no way that you should be buying brand new stuff when we can just fix it for 15 bucks and you have a brand new tool. So have that kind of mindset and it'll save you thousands of dollars in the long run. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you learned something new today. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this kind of content, and we'll see you in the next one.